All right, today we're going to be installing this trowel omatic automatic float valve here on the farm. So we have the trough here and we have this to put it in. We want to have water for these animals to have all the time, but we don't have to water it, fill it up all the time. So the way this works, it's kind of like the, the float in your toilet where you have the, this plastic part that floats and it'll float like this. And then as the water level rises, this will come up and it'll seal the water and it'll stop the water from filling up so it won't overflow the water trough. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do to start. Open up your pieces you have. Okay, so you have two sets of brackets here. You have one that have two holes in it on the side and then one hole on the other side, then you have one that's shaped like a J. I, you're gonna use this one if you wanna, if you have a wider water trough edge. Since we don't, we're just gonna set ours in like this and I'll show you what that's gonna look like right up here. This is just going to set right there on the rim. Yep. So we're, so we're not even gonna need these brackets at all. So we're gonna set these in first. And then with these, you can set how deep you want it. If you want to set this here, this will set lower in the water trough, which means the water level will be a little bit lower. If you want the water level closer to the rim, set it at this lower one. For this case, it doesn't really matter, so we're just going to set it at the lower one. So the next step will be to get the small screws here. Flathead side. The other, the other end of this, already has threads in it. So you'll just be tightening down to those threads. Grab your Leatherman, tighten that down. Grab the other bolt, do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now grab the actual float. You can look in here, there is a the bracket that's where this cotter pin is going to sit. You're going to slide that cotter pin through here. So let's set this in this way. Make sure it's set in between those two posts there and then with the cotter pin, slide it through. And we'll stick it all the way in there. Make sure it passes through both pieces. So you might need the, the Leatherman. Might have to move the float a little bit. There we go. You can see how it's passed through both pieces now. So you can see this is automatically going to drop and then the water level rises. It'll seal and stop that. Okay, the next step will be to get the these hand twisting wing nuts on here. Just get it started, and then we'll tighten it on the actual water trough. Now you'll get your garden hose and twist this thing on. Make sure you have the gasket in there still. This prevents it from leaking. Okay, it's important to hand tighten this and not use any tools. All right, now you'll just set this in the water and you'll tighten this down. I want to show you how this float works and because the trough's already full of water, it's not going to work unless you do it like this. So this is happening as the water level's filling up. And then you'll sit like that, it turns off, and as the cows drink the water, it automatically refills itself, just like a toilet bowl but for them for drinking water. All right, we can turn this off. Now we'll set this in here. Now we just twist this hand tight. One other tip, you want to put this closest to the fence. You don't want to have this float mounted close to where uh, they're going to be putting their mouth. They don't want them to be just bumping it, moving it, breaking it. It is made out of metal, but the float itself is plastic, so you don't want them 
bump in it or anything. Okay, so you're just going to hand tighten this down. Just like that. Hey, look how happy they are now that they have water. Okay, so I know that it works. It's not leaking. So now I'm going to position it exactly where I want. I'm going to put it closer to the middle here so it's as far as possible from any of their noses. There we go. All right, so this isn't a super complicated thing to put together. And for those of you that have lived on a farm or done this before, I know this sounds, you know, looks like, hey, it's Captain Obvious. But for people that haven't ever seen this before, this is a pretty cool device. It's a way that you can keep water for your animals without you having to continually fill it up or having to worry that it's gonna leak everywhere. Thanks for checking out the Handy Dandy Andy channel. I appreciate your support. If you have any questions or if you wanna see something else, let me know in the comments. Thanks.